Hey there, everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about does DPDR get worse or even get triggered by blasphemous thoughts? And obviously, this is a bit of a big one, because if you're having blasphemous thoughts, obviously, this goes against the, the religion and, and the teachings and all that type of stuff. So is it actually this which is causing the DPDR or is it something else? This will depend individual to individual. Now, basically, what um, DPDR is essentially is it's you know your mind's reaction to some kind of anxious thinking that you're that you're having and what actually might happen is when you're having these blasphemous thoughts you might think to yourself ah, that's a bad thing or you might think to yourself I've never done that before why did I do that this is going to have a flow-on effect and a follow-through effect to the fact that you're going to start to get anxious about it it's this anxiety which is going to feed into the DPDR. So it's not the actual thought itself, but it's more the fact that you got anxious over the thought, which is going to do it. Because you could think something completely different, like, oh, I really should have called my colleague back at work when they left a message. And you can have the same reaction because it's going to make you feel like maybe you did something wrong. This is going to cause a bit of anxiety. This is going to make your DPDR spike. So it's not necessarily that in general, you know, objectively blasphemous thoughts give you DPDR or trigger them. But if they matter to you, then yes, they might make the DPDR worse. They might make the anxiety worse with anything in life. If you go against your core values, if you go against your beliefs, then you might just feel a little bit uneasy. You know, you might feel a little bit anxious and you don't really know why, you know, if your beliefs are here, and your actions are sort of doing this, then you're not congruent, like you're not the same with them. So what you need to do is just to make sure that your actions actually align with your beliefs, then you're going to be going in the right direction together. And that's when you have a happy life, you know? So, I mean, obviously we can't do that all the time. And usually it's just a crisscross, a crisscross. So this is what it comes down to with the fact of blasphemous thoughts when it comes to the DPDR is that you might have had the thought and it doesn't align with your beliefs. It doesn't align with your values. So that's why it's going to make you feel uneasy. So of course, there's a couple of things you can do. You can try and make sure that you don't have these thoughts anymore. But sometimes thoughts just sort of pop in your head without you actually having control over them. But what we do have control over is the thoughts after that. So you could have a blasphemous thought and then what do you think after that? Maybe you could think, oh, why did I have that? Or, you know, let's try and understand why I'm actually having these thoughts or, oh, I, I'm sorry for having that thought. You know, I didn't mean to have that or whatever it is, or, oh, clearly I'm going through something right now and it's making these thoughts pop in my head and, you know, I'm going to do my best to sort of start to resolve them. So those are some of the things that you can say after the fact. But I would encourage you and I invite you to either one, find out why you're having them in the first place or two, find out why they're such a problem for you. And once you can figure out those things, then you can sort of process it a little bit. So my friends, I hope you've learned a little bit and it's helped you this video about learning about all this stuff and what might actually be happening here. And if you do want to have a bit of a chat with me about this or any of the other thoughts that you've got or sort of what you're going through, then reach out to me, the Facebook, Instagram, or book a discovery call, whatever's easiest for you. All the links for that are in the description. And I'd love to have a chat with you and see what's going on. And until next time, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.